Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing and unboxing the Joby Griptite POV Kit. There it is right here. So this is a handheld device that you know mounts to your smartphone that also has a Bluetooth shutter. Uh, so you can take, you know, you can set your camera up and then walk away and use the Bluetooth shutter to take your pictures just in case you're by yourself and you want to get some cool epic shots. Uh, and you'd have no one else around to take a picture for you. This is a great way to do it. So I'm gonna get out of the box. I'm gonna move my camera around so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll show you why this thing is so cool. All right, so here it is right here. Griptide POV kit for your iPhone. Specifically designed for the iPhone SE, iPhone 6 and 6S, and iPhone 6 Plus and 6S Plus. And all the different memory sizes too. So I'm gonna get out of the box. All right, so first things first, it comes with some, uh, there's your POV kit owner's manual. Kind of gives you all your information. And then you have your Joby Griptite series brochure. And this has all the cool stuff that Joby makes. So definitely worth a look at, check out joby.com. So if you shoot a lot of video with your iPhone or smartphone or GoPro or DSLR or any kind of real point and shoot camera or anything like that. Joby makes something for everybody, so definitely worth a look at. Looks like we got a cold shoe adapter here. We got the mount. I'll set that off to the side. All right, so here's the mount right here. That's a little thumb screw, so you can kind of hold it like that, or three fingers is more comfortable, I, I would think. And then on the top here, you have your, that's your Joby Bluetooth shutter. So let's see here. Oh, it's got a little plastic tab on it right here. So we'll take that off. This way it'll release the battery. And I'll get to that in a minute. We'll try to pair it to my phone. And then this is the locking mechanism. So there's your slide. And this is just a screw mount and a wrench kind of thing. So keep that in mind when you tighten this thing down. Make sure it's nice and tight and this thing's not gonna go anywhere. So you loosen this thing up and let's get my smartphone. Before I put my phone in there though, I don't know if you can see that, but on here there's these really, really nice rubberized grips and a nice little rubber bumper for the back. So you put your phone in there nice and securely and then you're going to want to tighten this guy down just like that and that's not going anywhere and then you get your angle right tighten this thing down uh, you got to tighten this thing down pretty good and it's pretty secure it doesn't really move if I really force it I mean the tightest I can make it is right now and I could still kind of bend this thing and kind of position it. So I think maybe if I put a little sandpaper around the joint here, that'll probably make it nice and tight. But for right now, it's not a big deal. You can kind of just hold it like this and hold your iPhone around or flip it around the other way. And now you have like a cool little selfie stick. All right, so here's the little shutter remote. Turn it on, turns to red, and then it starts to flash. So I'm going to turn my Bluetooth on, and let's see what we got. See if I can find it. It's probably going to show up under Joby devices, or other devices, Joby shutter. Boom. All right, Joby shutter connected. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to set this thing up. kind of like that and we'll just put the camera on just so it kind of faces the wall and then with the remote it takes a picture let's see if it starts recording with video totally recording with video right now that's awesome and this is great because it has this little tether. You can put this on your keychain or whatever. And it, on the inside here, it takes the little watch battery. 
So I'll get this thing open just so you can kind of see it. Inside, just a little watch battery. That's the only thing that powers this thing. Pretty awesome. So on the flip side, so I'll turn this off. We don't need that anymore. But on the top here, there's also this little mount. You can actually have a cold shoe. So you can mount the light or an external mic right there. That's pretty rad. Not to mention, if you don't want that there, you can just take this off. Put the Joby little uh, Bluetooth deal right there. And it stays in place. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. Now keep in mind, this is Bluetooth. So this is going to work 30 feet away from the phone. Or whatever you have it linked to. But when this thing is in place, it's not going anywhere. And you have multiple handhelds. I mean, you can hold it this way. You can kind of hold it this way if you really want to. Just to kind of increase your grip. Um, or you can just kind of flip it down completely and you can hold it like that nice and steady now cool that I you know me I'm a big fan of branding and I love when companies brand their products so Joby is everywhere it's here it's here and it's also right there so that's awesome when you're done just loosen this thing up phone comes right out and you can loosen this just like that, bam, done. Just make sure this is nice and tight. Fold that in just like that, and you're done. That's your, uh, that's your POV kit. Now, the cold shoe adapter fits on the top. It also has another adapter for the bottom. So keep in mind that if you got a second one of these, you could put a, a mic up here and a light down here, and you could have a full-on vlogging setup for your iPhone. Push and hold it and it flashes a couple times and turns off. All right, so that's my review of the Jovi POV kit. This is it right here. Got a cold shoe mount. You got your Bluetooth remote on the top. This thing is awesome. Uh, the only negative I would say is that when this thing is fully tightened down, this little thumb screw right here, I can't seem to tighten it enough. You know, that's as hard as I could tighten this thing and I could still kind of move it. You know what I mean? Now, if I'm jumping up and down, maybe that's one thing. But for the most part, as tight as I can make this thing, it's not really going to move in most applications. So keep that in mind, especially if you're using this thing as like a selfie stick or anything like that. You kind of want to, you know, do panoramas like this or, you know, you do a panorama this way. But the benefits that you get from using something like this is huge. For one, you have a stable handheld to hold your smartphone uh, for getting some really cool dynamic shots. You also have a Bluetooth remote shutter that can start video as well as take, you know, snapshots up to 30 feet away. It's really well designed. I mean, this is, you know, Joby quality as you would expect, but it has these really great rubber um, paddings and bumpers right in here. It's really going to help secure the phone and make sure the phone doesn't move more importantly. I don't care if this moves as much, but I don't want my $700 phone to fall off of it. I also like that it has a little tether. So you can connect this to like a keychain or, you know, to the outside of your pack or something like that. And then this way you always have it with you. So if you like my review and found it informative, if you want to get one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. Another way to help support is to click on that I button right up here. When you do that, you can donate any number of dollars and that's going to allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Leave them down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's a like button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up for me if you found it informative and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. Best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website. On the lower right hand corner of the screen, there's going to be a little pop up that shows up. Put in your email address and then click submit. When you do that, you're going to have access to my website as well as some exclusive content that's only on the site that's not on my YouTube channel. So on a side note, I'm also doing a charity through hike for the John Muir Trail for Big City Mountaineers in 2017, probably September-ish. All depends on when I can get my permit. Uh, there's a few of us going and we're raising money for Big City Mountaineers. Here's their picture right up here. When you click on that, it'll take you to a website where you can make a tax deductible donation. Uh, all the proceeds, 100%, go to Big City Mountaineers. We're funding our own hike and all the money goes directly to Big City Mountaineers. We're not keeping a penny of it. So it's a great cause, great charity, and we figured it's a great way to give back. You know, a lot of these kids that, you know, Big City takes out are inner city youth and some of these kids are troubled and they have never had a wilderness experience before and wilderness does so good for so many people. So 
It's a great cause, and as I said, it's a great charity. So minimum donation is $10. <clears throat> Everybody's got 10 bucks, so just go ahead and get over to the website and make your donation. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.